I am going to talk about uh, design shear strength of concrete tau c in Newton per mm square uh, without using table number 19 uh, for limit state of RCC design which is given in IS456-2000. So here I have uh, reproduced part of table number 19 given for limit state method for tau c. So here we know that this column is pt percentage for example suppose you have singly reinforced beam then we calculate area of steel then into 100 divided by width of beam and effective depth of beam we get the percentage of steel so in this table number 19 they have given various percentages for example length or equal to 0.15 is equal to 0.25 percent 0.5 percent it is up to 3 percent and above but here for demonstration purpose I have only shown few values. Again, this side it is M15 grade concrete, M20, M25, M30, M25, M40 and above. So here also for demonstration purpose, randomly I have taken only M25 grade concrete and I have given, I have written the values of tau C that is 0.29 Newton per mm square, 0.36 Newton per mm square and 0.49 Newton per mm square for these three values of percentage of steel respectively. Now, this tau c, the value of tau c depends on grade of concrete that is FCK, percentage C, then shear span by depth ratio, type of aggregate used in the concrete, size of the beam, axial force on the beam and force aggregate size. Now, what we do is when we get, get PT percentage, for example, our PT percentage is 0.5 and suppose my concrete rate is M25, then tau C is directly 0.49. We use the value of design shear strength tau C as 0.49. But suppose the value of PT is 0.32, that means it is between 0.25 and 0.5. Then we have to interpolate between these two values. We have to interpolate between these two values by using this table number 19. But now I am going to tell a story how this table was actually formed. And we really don't need to use this table at all. So there is no question of interpolation at all. Directly for any random value of Pt, we can arrive at tau c. For that, we have to remember just two formulae. So this table is an outcome of research by Dr. Rangan in 1972. He did vast experiments to arrive at design shear strength of concrete in 1972 and this table is an outcome of empirical research done by him. Now what he said that he said that the design shear strength of concrete tau c in Newton per mm square or mega Pascal is 0.85 root of 0.8 fck into bracket 1 plus 5 beta ss minus 1 divided by 6 times of beta ss. Now here, this is 0.8 fck because it is well known fact that the compressive strength of cylinder is approximately 0.8 times of that of tubes and therefore it is 0.8 fck. Again here it is 0.85 because it is a reduction factor or you can say factor of safety for material strength as per SP 241983. What they say that since there is a difference in quality control between side concrete and the laboratory concrete, and therefore they say that apply one reduction factor of 0.85. Now, here we know FCK, for example, suppose M25, but we don't know beta SS. So, again, what Dr. Rangan did that he gave the formula for, for beta SS as 0.8 times of FCK upon 6.89 into Pt that is percentage of steel or 1 whichever is greater. For example, suppose I have Pt percentage of 0 0.32, 0.32 percent which is between these two values. So directly you have to substitute 0 0.32 here. We already know FCK. So suppose this value is 0.9 then out of 0.9 and 1, 1 is greater whichever is greater, so I will adopt 1. But suppose after substituting Pt, suppose it is 1.2, 1 
then out of 1.21 greater is 1.2 so i take 1.2 so suppose i take 1.2 then i have to substitute that value of 1.2 beta s s here and here wherever there is a beta s s written and already we know the grade of of concrete fc k as m25 so after doing that directly i get the value of tau c that means i don't need to use any table at all while solving directly if i remember these two formulae and the underlying conditions directly for any random pt percentage i can get the uh, value of tau c because by using table if our pt percentage is 0.5 0.25 0.15 then it's okay directly we can read but most of the times it lies between two values like 0.3 2.33 and then we have to interpolate so that is what i wanted to convey that this is the reason how this table was formulated but again let me then uh, let me come to a vital point that here this table is shown only up to m40 and above because in 1972 in india m40 also was considered as a high strength concrete but now uh, in metropolitan cities like mumbai bangalore or any other cities skyscrapers or other uh, infrastructure projects uh, they are having concrete even up to m100 or m120 that is quite common now so they are using very high strength concrete or we can say ultra high strength concrete but still if we use this table that means because m40 and above that means it can be m50 also it can be m60 also it can be m90 also it can be m120 also so m40 and above that means suppose you have M120 concrete for a high-rise building, but still I use the same value of tau c because it says M40 and above, and therefore there is a lot of research scope here in uh, especially this uh, shear strength that someone can come up uh, for grades like M50, M60, up to M120 or even M150 because of the advancements in concrete technology nowadays. Uh, very high-strength concretes are being used all over the world and especially in India also. But again. Uh, research in shear of concrete is not that easy because the phenomenon of pure shear in concrete or rcc is very rare it is always flexural shear or there are other things which are associated with that which i don't want to discuss here because that is beyond uh, scope of my discussion here i want to culminate just by finally saying that i wanted to only convey that students don't need to use this table they can directly remember these two formulae and for any for any random value of pt they can directly arrive at tau c thank you very much